Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do some more visual stuff today. Uh, use a CSS linear gradient to create a striped element. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't that cool? Uh, the repeating linear gradient function is very similar to the linear gradient with a major difference uh, that it repeats the specified gradient pattern. Um, repeating linear gradient accepts a variety of values, but the, for simplicity, you'll work with an angle value that the color stops values in this challenge. Uh, the angle value is the direction of the gradient. Color stops are like width values that mark the transition, where a transition takes place, and are even and are given with a percentage or, or a number of pixels. Interesting. I don't really understand that. Yellow for zero pixels, and then blue for next forty pixels. Okay, so you sort of set it. So it starts at yellow. Uh, we're at ninety degrees, so it's vertical. Yellow we go for zero pixels but then after 40 pixels later it's, we're on full blue 40 pixels later we're full green and then 80 pixels later we're back we're at red again and then it goes back to yellow so it's just going to simply cycle through these parameters um, and the example demonstrated in the code editor oh, look at this uh, it starts with the color yellow at zero pixels and then it blends to blue at 40 pixels away and since the next color stops is also at 40 pixels. The gradient immediately changes to the third color green, which itself blends to the fourth, which was red, which is 80 pixels away from the beginning of the gradient. For the example, it helps to think about the color stops as pairs, where every two colors blend together. So yellow to blue, okay, yellow to blue, blue to green, blue, and then green blends to red. Green blends to red. Interesting, okay. If every two color stops values are the same color, their blending isn't noticeable because it's between the same color followed by a hard transition to the next color. So you end up with stripes. Interesting. So what we're going to, it seems like we're going to try to make stripes. Make stripes by changing the repeating linear gradient. So we're going to just change this repeating linear gradient function to use a gradient angle of 45 degrees. Uh, so we can just change this now. 45 degrees, I think it's going to make it go like this. Interesting, like that. I was wrong. Uh, and set the first two color stops to yellow. And finally, the second two color stops to black. Okay, I think I just have switched to these. Um, so I'm just going to take the yellow and make it so it's like this. There we go. Now we get that B look. I think that this is what it was going for. And so it said the first set the first two color stops to yellow. So 0 and 40 to yellow, and then finally the second two color stops to black, and black and black. Um, and so yeah, I think if I run the tests now, that should pass. Um, this is an interesting one. I don't see this a lot, but it's a really interesting uh, thing. My guess is that using CSS um, like this is always going to be a super fast way to develop web applications because CSS uh, is faster than loading images like, say, a uh, like if you were to load a, something else into the page, like a, like a JPEG or a PNG or something like that, that would be a slow thing that you'd have to generate um, more data. It takes longer to send down the pipe. And so if you're able to write applications like this, it'll probably be much quicker. Look at that. Now we're just trying to write elements into these div elements. And uh, I'm just doing this as a kind of a little practice. I'm going to get rid of that and run the tests. Cool. Everything seems to pass. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys like this. Talk to you soon.